Hello and welcome. Today I have with me Alistair Soldier Arutun. Great to have you. Hello, Marcel. Great to uh, be here as well. We just passed uh, the half point of the regular season and you might just have played the best match of your career, or at least that was uh, the comment from the casters, at least so far. Uh, how does that feel? How do you feel with your performance so far? Uh, yeah, it was a great uh, and a fast match, I would say. Um, very, uh, I would say, relieved. Not too excited because uh, I think it's it was one of the hardest matches uh, this season, uh, personally for us. So it's very nice to win that 4-0. Um, yeah, very glad and, and relieved. Expand on that a little bit. Why why, why would that be the, the the toughest match? I think you guys won it pretty smoothly. Yeah. So uh, as you remember, last uh, last time around when we did the interview, it was just before a Solari match. Um, you're expecting it to be close, but it wasn't. The uh, just basically uh, destroyed us for zero uh, on on last stage, and um, they played. I think they're one of their best matches against us uh, during the group stage, of course. So not mm -hmm. including playoffs. Yeah. And uh, yeah, after that, it was uh, I think very tough to um, start from scratch, uh, go back to the drawing board, and and play these other matches. Uh, that we have had left in, in the group stage so that's why it was a uh, important match for us to win at least yeah definitely important it was an amazing match and against the team that didn't give you a chance last stage exactly as you said and now solari just became a stepping stone on your path in the stage two solari and bds have fallen out of the top two spots uh, so uh, for now leaving only you and big up there what's the feeling of being the top dog in the league uh, yeah, pretty good. Um, of course, uh, we're in the middle of the season, so uh, so far so good. And we pl we didn't play the best opponents yet, apart from Solari, of course. So we still have uh, matches against Big, um, BDS, KC. Those are all like teams in the middle of the pack that can perform really well. So it feels pretty good so far, uh, especially when you have um, a teammate like Mudda, who always pushes space. He's always there to clutch, so um, it it uh, makes you feel confident as well, um, being at the top. Yeah. All right. So let's go through the match though a bit. You guys against Solari. It started off really strong on control. It was Solari's peak, but you guys stole it with no problem at all. Did you expect that to go so smoothly? Um, no. So we did expect all the picks coming from them. Uh, so Solari is like a team that. Um, prefers playing on their best maps instead of um, banning the opponent's maps. So that's like a, a kind of a comfort move that he do. And we fully expected that, that he picked Grip, uh, Control and uh, Vortex. Um, but the this outcomes of these maps, we didn't expect. So Control, we went 10-1. We aced three times in a row. Um, the match times were not too great uh, in general, I would say. Um, but we play positions, of course, so we only focus on what we have to do. Um, but we didn't expect a 10-1. Uh, we expected a, a very close match because it's their pick, of course. And I just think they had a off day or they didn't really train that or train that much that week. I don't know what's going on. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, control went pretty smoothly. Then came your pick and it was Frosty. Alliance seem to have a very uh, high prioritization on this map. So far undefeated on it. Why is it so high in your priorities in the pick and ban? Um, I think it's already from the start of the map, like, to be honest. Um, like Frosty is a similar map like Gyroscope from last stage. Very tricky to get down. And we know that the other teams uh, will most likely not like it. And we thrive on, on these maps where you have to figure out a lot of stuff, a lot of um, in like difficult mechanics in the middle and the end of the map, of course. Um, so I think that's why we're good on it. We always uh, thrive on these maps, I would say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then came Grip. Usually it's your pick, but this time it was Solari who picked it. And uh, it was like the 
it was the biggest challenge of yours in this match. We've seen you before on grip and you were doing just fine, uh, with your time has been more so on average uh, sub 102, but something went wrong in this match in particular. Are you able to tell yeah. us like what made you struggle so much? Um, I guess you could see it um, yourself as a spectator. Uh, so basically I was feeling this exact same part, this water actually in the middle of the map. I couldn't get it right, um, which is um, just, I think, a match thing that happens. Uh, like in the first round, I was ahead by 0.5. Um, when I fail to bother, of course, and then you start, um, it's, it's a common thing in players, you start doubting the, that exact section of the map. So that's water entry. And that's what happened, uh, I think the next two, three rounds, I just kept crashing on that uh, exact same spot. But you just kind of have to refocus and uh, just do your own thing. Don't try to change lines or stuff like that. And that's what I did throughout like the second, like the last few rounds of the map, I would say. So yeah, it was a struggle in the match, but um, I, I know what I have to work on now on that map, particularly in the match. And that's like these kind of things are what you have to do in the middle of the season. Correct your bad lines and and mistakes, and uh, you can only learn from it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And fortunately, you guys have actually won that map in the end, ten to nine, if I remember correctly. And uh, in the end, it was time for breaking. And what can I say? It just wasn't even close. You guys said that your goal wasn't even to win the rounds, but to go sub-113. What can you say about that? I just happened from the first round. So I drove a 113.0, but I was saving the end. Um, it's just the kind of player I am. If I'm, I have a 0.3 lead, I will not risk the identity, of course. Um, and I was surprised I had a point out on that round. And Meta was like, yeah, I, I really need to beat this record. It's not that good. And then he tried um, doing that on the next rounds. Uh, sometimes I tell him to save uh, in some situations where it's like, uh, like a, a clean win round, I would say. But uh, this one round, he did the opposite uh, because he really wanted that 112. I, I respect that, of course, um, because we were like leading by, I would say, A3, was it? I mean, so it, it ended in 11. It paid off. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 11 1? Yes. It uh, yes, could 11. be something like that. Um, yeah, but it paid off. I didn't uh, get a 112, unfortunately. Um, but maybe next time uh, when the map comes around, <laughs> mm -hmm. if the other team is Tom Bennett. I mean, that's the thing with the season. Uh, we have so many great maps. There's no one map you can ban against this anymore. Um, that's the main difference between that stage and, and this stage. Definitely. And as you said before, since our last interview, uh, three months have passed actually. And in the time, the narrative around Lions uh, really shifted from the middle of the pack team to possibly the best team in the league. Uh, you have said in the interview that you want to show more of what you are capable of. Do you feel like you are finally showing us showing us just that? Um, not quite yet. Um, I would say I have more to bring to the table. Um, what I'm looking at here is uh, the playoffs, which are the most important matches here. Um, and we want to get at least top four, maybe top three this season, or uh, like looking at it on, on this stage, we can maybe win it all. Depends on if Solari steps up and, and some other teams, of course. But um, I think I can um, still go faster, way faster on the maps um, compared to my uh, PBs offline. Um, I'm, I'm more like right now, I'm not more like a, a supportive player, if you can uh, see that. Uh, we aim for victories and aces, and I try to maintain my positions throughout the match. Um, but if I have to push, of course, um, I can do that as well. But uh, like until now, there were not a lot of moments I had to do that. I just um, count on Meta doing the pushing because he really likes mm -hmm. to push pace towards the end of the map. And I like, I prefer just having a good outcome in the rounds. Yeah. So there's more to come. Yeah.
And I'm so glad that you brought it up because that was actually my next question. Because I feel like uh, the style of Alliance is beginning to shift uh, with you becoming a much more reliable teammate and with Mata being possibly uh, the best player in the league currently. Uh, it looks a bit as uh, if you started to go in the way that uh, Solari and uh, BDS were playing last stage and of course uh, uh, with Mada being the carry player and you being this sort of an anchor. Um, and yeah, I wanted to ask you if you feel the statement is true, but you actually uh, have confirmed it already. So I'm gonna ask, uh, do you feel like at the highest level all teams would shift to this sort of style or this is uh, not really... Um, or this is not like a requirement. Um, I think it's only a almost a requirement, I would say, because of the ace uh, points distribution. So the three points you get, an opponent gets zero points. So where you have a situation where you both just risk it, uh, we saw that uh, last week against uh, G1 KC on that last map. You just push base uh, throughout the map. Just uh, yeah, just don't save the identity and then. There is, a, there is a chance that you both fail it, and that's what happens. So I wouldn't say if you're good enough, it's not necessary, I would say, especially in playoffs. Uh, you can, I would say, risk as, as, uh, as both players if you have a confirm map, uh, but it's more stable. Like, the, like, you will not lose maps hard, I would say. So we prefer um having a support and carry uh, like a, a fast player on on most maps so we know that the map is most likely won in our favor so if you both push on like uh like speed is a good example you can do that it's more like a coin flip map instead mm -hmm. of a map you should win in theory yeah yeah um i uh, wanted to bring up that since uh, Solari and BDS have kind of fallen out of the top two, the only contenders I feel like for the best team in teams in the league are you, uh, you guys in Alliance, and Big. My question was, uh, do you think Alliance is the best team in the league? But also, I kind of uh, have, uh, have this kind of realization while, while we are talking about uh, Big as a team. Because I feel like these guys are really good but they don't really have that style of one being a carry and one being the anchor. Do, uh, do you have this similar observation? I feel like they, they both kind of are pushing their, their best pace and uh, both are failing sometimes, both are succeeding sometimes. But this is kind of that, that thing that I just realized that Big might be the team that kind of doesn't shift to this style. What do you think about it? Um, that's per uh, perfectly fine, I would say. Like what we see in big is if one player doesn't uh, crashes, basically, mm -hmm. the other player um, saves the round and you get a draw or a victory situation for the opponent team, which is perfectly fine. Um, dear, I would say, like, especially with Massa and Granadi, Massa has the, his preferred maps. Um, those are not Granadi's maps, I would say. And sometimes they do um, overlap. And that's why you have the situation where the one, one player is really good on the map and the other player just has to follow or is slightly behind. There's no clear gap between them. Um, I think it's perfectly fine, but um, I, I wouldn't say, like you just said, that the best, the, the best uh, teams in the league are decided. Because how I see it, uh, mm -hmm. see it, you have group stage, which is a, a whole different thing than playoffs. Um, of course. And I would say at the end of the playoffs, which is at the end of the stage, you, you can um, easily say then that you're the best team if you win the playoffs, which are like way more important. And that was Solari last season. Um, maybe it's someone else this season, but like for now it's still group stage and things are still developing um also the pace on the maps are increasing slowly and we don't really know yet uh what's going to happen exactly definitely uh i know what you mean and uh, yeah of course i was uh, more so thinking about the current state of the league 
but of course oh, it, yeah. all, it okay. all will it all will yeah. unfold in some way and we'll see how it evolves throughout the season uh but uh we are as i said before at a half point and we have three matches remaining kc bds and alliance uh well, not alliance big you guys are alliance and against big of course uh i just wanted to ask you because i feel like uh, I, I know you guys always say that the the matches are always a challenge. Every other match is 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 a new challenge, is the biggest challenge ahead of you. But I feel like, like personally, I feel like the biggest challenge and the only real real challenge is big in the end of the season. And uh, I just want to ask you, what do you think of the rem- of the remaining schedule that you have ahead of you? Yeah, of course, uh, we prefer not to play against ourselves, but uh, for the <laughs> other teams, um, we we take it one team at a time, basically. We, we don't really think about a big match yet. We know we play them last, of course, but uh, for now we are focusing on the KC matchup um, and how we will approach the match. Um, the way we see it as these teams can, it, it can be really close matches. Um, against these teams, like the thing is with um, the stage is you only have one match a week, and in a week it's it's a pretty long time. Like the opponents can improve a lot on some maps. Um, if there were two three matches a week, you could say, "Oh, we're playing um, KC in two days, and we just saw them a day ago." Um, maybe. Uh, we have a good shot on on these maps, but for now the, uh, we can't really say that. Um, we had some weeks where we really improved, uh, figured out some maps, and and that's uh, time span. And then we just got strong on it. Um, but it it really depends. Um, but I think it's gonna be a closer match than Solari, so mm. <laughs> I'm looking forward to uh, playing that one. I really hope it will be a closer match than against Solari. And yeah, one week, uh, one match per week, although we have one more super week ahead of us, but that's for another time. But thank you very much for the interview. Do you have any short message for the fans? Um, yeah, thanks for uh, um, believing in me from the very start. Even though I had a um, sloppy stage one, um, I still try to improve as much as possible and keep up with metal space, of course. And I'll try to do that um, for the foreseeable future. Yeah, thanks for um, for all the support and um, make sure to um, still watch all the matches, of course. And uh, we'll try our best to win this stage, especially. Of course, we will be all keeping a, all, a close eye onto an alliance and. To all the viewers, you can find all the links to Soldier's socials in the description. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed, I invite you to leave a like and subscribe for more interviews in the future. Thank you very much.